How far would you go to be the center of attention? What would you do to have all eyes turn on you, making you the most interesting person in the room? Would you be willing to hurt your loved ones? Would you even hurt yourself just to draw attention away from someone else and toward you? If the answer is yes, then stay away from this movie because it might just give you some ideas you shouldn't hear. Everyone else is cordially invited to join me for this short review video. Signe's boyfriend Thomas is an artist and a narcissist. So in his art form, which is mainly just stealing furniture and then Frankenstein it into something else, overnight goes through the roof and he starts to being recognized around town, it really doesn't sit well with Signe, because here's the rub. Signe is also a narcissist, an even bigger one than Thomas. But unfortunately, Signe has nothing to show for. While Thomas is introduced into the local artistic circle and slowly makes his way up the ladder of the cultural elite, Signe is working as a barista, which is nothing to be ashamed of, but also nothing to brag about, at least in Signe's eyes. So she is starting to grab for attention any way possible, which is mostly happening every time Thomas is starting to receive a lot of praise from the people around him, something that triggers the need in Signe to draw the attention away from him. It starts with little things like pretending to be allergic to peanuts and then even faking an anaphylactic shock after she accidentally took a bite from Tomas's plate and someone was pointing that out. But this is only the beginning because after a woman was attacked by a dog in the cafe where she is working, she noticed how much attention she gets after helping that woman but even more how much attention the woman gets from the media after this incident went public. From that moment on, she is looking into ways to disfigure herself just enough to draw attention to her, while also making her the victim of something that would draw the media attention to her. Her online research showed that there is an ointment that would create a rash so drastic that it might scar you for life. So of course she is going for that. And her plan actually pays off and she is getting a lot of attention, even becomes some kind of a media sensation. But how long can she keep that all up without permanently hurting herself and before someone finds out that everything was just a lie? With this movie I give you the same advice that I gave in the movie review for La Pidat. Do not watch the trailer before you watch the movie. Because again, the trailer is creating a completely false impression of what the movie would be. Just judging by the trailer, you would expect this to be a social drama with a heavy portion of body horror which is something I personally don't enjoy. I do not enjoy watching people being deformed and flesh starting to rot and stuff like that. And exactly that was the impression the trailer gave us about this movie. Again, positively surprised, the movie turned out to be a social satire, which was actually quite funny at times, though it also has a lot of cringeworthy moments that are tough to get through. But still, the body horror and the deformations that were shown in the trailer is just a small piece of it. Most scenes regarding that that we see in the trailer are only happening in the movie over a five minute period. Because then she ends up with a solid amount of scarring that all things considered doesn't even look that severe. The movie lives from its characters and especially Signe, who we can watch sliding down this slippery slope of giving more and more in into that addiction of being the center of attention, whatever the price might be. It starts slowly, escalates quickly, and where it leads, I will not tell you, because that is something you need to see for yourself. And judging by this remark, you rightfully suspect that this movie will come recommended, which directly leads us into the rating. But before we do so, let me ask you to like and share this video if you enjoyed it so far. And if you are no subscriber yet, maybe consider to change that. By also hitting the notification bell, you will get a heads up for most of my new videos. Now for the rating. As mentioned before, the movie is completely different from what you would expect when you see the trailer. Well, maybe not completely, but different enough to say that instead of the expected weird and disgusting body horror, you get a very entertaining satire that shows you the life of two narcissists who should not live together, especially if they are in constant competition about the attention of people around them. 
It's also very much a reflection of our current times, where some people are expecting to have success without doing something for it, or gaining success overnight just for a little bit of effort that they put in. And even worse, that it is better to be known for something that is stupid than to be not known at all. I'm rating this Norwegian Swedish co production with 7 out of 10 points. And it would have even scored higher if it wasn't for two little things. First of all, the fact that both main characters are narcissists who don't care much for anyone else is not really making them relatable. And for most of us, it makes the movie better if you can relate to the person that you suffer with, as this gives you a way of identifying with them. Here, of course, this is not given, at least for most of us, so it is tough to feel invested in what happens to the main protagonists. And it's an easy equation. The less I care, the lower the score. The other detractor is that the director is throwing in way too many dream sequences, so that at a certain point you're not even aware anymore which parts of the movie just happened in Cygnus fantasy or in real life. But fortunately you don't care that much at a certain point anymore anyway, so that you are just fine with that. And this shows you that, if I'm still scoring this movie with 7 out of 10 points, that the rest of the movie really works well. So what about you? Do you know people like this in real life? And how far would you go for fame and fortune? Would you rather try to keep other people down to get success? Or would you much rather join forces and try to get success together? Or is success even relevant to you? Let me know in the comments. So much for now, see you next time and thanks for watching.